on court ICJ rules on Serbia and Croatia genocide cases the International Court of Justice ICJ in The Hague is issuing its ruling on genocide cases between Croatia and Serbia. The Croatian government has alleged that Serbia committed genocide in the town of Vukovar and elsewhere in 1991. Serbia later filed a counterclaim over the expulsion of more than 200,000 Serbs from Croatia. About 20,000 people died during the 1991-1995 war, when Croatia broke away from Yugoslavia. The Croatian town of Vukovar was devastated when it was occupied by Serbs for three months in 1991. Tens of thousands of ethnic Croats were displaced, and about 260 Croat men were detained and killed. Four years later, the Croatian military's Operation Storm bombarded the majority ethnic Serb Krajina area, forcing about 200,000 people from their homes. Croatia filed its initial case with the ICJ, the top on court, in 1999, accusing Serbs, led by President Slobodan Milosevic, of targeting ethnic Croats during the conflict. It also wants Serbia to pay compensation for damages to persons and properties as well as to the Croatian economy and environment. In 2010, Serbia responded to Croatia's case with a countersuit, saying that ethnic Serbs were expelled when Croatia launched its 1995 operation to retake territory captured by Serbs. The BBC's Anna Holligan in the Hague says that for some this legal judgment will help to shed light on what actually happened during the darkest years of the Balkans. Although genocide is the most serious of international crimes, it is also the hardest to prove, our correspondent adds. The ICJ is to decide whether either country or both are guilty of genocide, incitement to commit genocide or complicity in genocide. Both sides have said they will accept the verdicts, which began at 10 o'clock local time 9 o'clock GMT. And of a process Serbian Foreign Minister Ivica Dasik has described the verdict as one of perhaps the most important events for our bilateral relations with Croatia. It will probably be the end of a process that has lasted for 15 to 20 years and will put an end to both sides fight to prove who the worst criminal is, he told reporters on Sunday. Meanwhile, Croatian Justice Minister Arsat Miljanic has previously said that the government's main goal is to present what happened in the war and that was aggression against Croatia. Expectations have already been met through the case being discussed at the ICJ, Mr. Miljanic added in quotes carried by AFP. Relations between the two countries have improved in recent years but in 2012 Serbia was outraged when Operation Storm Commander Antigo Tobina was cleared on appeal by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia ICDE last week, ahead of the verdict. Lukovar President Katalos and Sik told Reuters news agency that she believed genocide had taken place in her town. Everything from cultural and natural sides, to people, everything was destroyed, she said. The town and its vicinity are full of former camp sites, places where they held people in detention, searched them, tortured them. Meanwhile, a refugee in Serbia, identified only as Drahika, expressed unhappiness at the Croatian government's claims. They expelled the Serbs. And now they claim they are not criminals, and we are, she told Reuters. They say we ran away. But who would be crazy enough to run away from their own home, leaving everything behind, everything we worked so hard for? Former Yugoslavia was a socialist state created after World War II. It consisted of six republics, Bosnia Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia and Slovenia. The federation began falling apart in the early 1990s. Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Macedonia declared independence.
sparking conflicts with the Serb-dominated Yugoslav army. All four countries were eventually recognized as independent by the UN. In 2006, Montenegro also emerged as a sovereign state after a referendum for independence, ending the former union of Serbia and Montenegro.